Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this question on the board for you guys. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, on the board we have a regular nonagon, which means it's a regular nine-sided polygon. And we have to prove that a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals d cube. And I've already written a, b, c, and d. And if you try this on your own, these angles are actually pretty easy to calculate yourself because these are just chords of a circle. Okay, so I'll just get into the real proving. So, we need a way to connect these four sides. But how? Well, I'm going to show you. We're actually going to need sine rule. So I'm going to write it, sine rule. And if you forgot what sine rule was, it is just A over sine of the opposite angle equals B over sine of the opposite angle. So why don't we first start off sine rule in this triangle, the smallest triangle. So we know that A over sine, what is A's opposite angle? Well, it's 20. It has to be equal to B over sine. Well, B's opposite angle is 140. But we think that 140 is too big. So we know that sine of 140 is equal to sine of pi minus 140, which is the same as sine of 40. Is this all? Actually not, because once we have this sine 40, we can move on to this triangle because there's a sine 40 over here. So we keep continuing. So this is also equal to C over opposite angle is 120. So sine 120. We do the same thing what we did here. Do pi minus 120, which is sine of 60. Okay. Now, is this all? Still no, because once we have sine of 60, it goes into this triangle because there's a 60 degrees here. So this is equal to D over sine of, well, the opposite angle of D is 100. So I just write 100. And this is equal to, we do the same thing. We do pi minus 100, which is 80. And usually, when we have many fractions equaling each other, we usually let this to be some value or constant, k. Now, we do this because we can now express a, b, c, and d all in terms of k. For example, we can see that a would just be multiply sine 20 to the right-hand side, k times sine of 20. And if you do the same for the rest, b would be k times sine 40, c would be k times sine 60, and d would be k times sine 80. So now we have to prove that this cube plus this cube plus this cube equals this cube. So we have to prove that k cubed sine cubed 20 plus k cubed sine cubed 40 plus k cubed sine cubed 60 equals k cubed sine cubed 80. Okay, the first thing we can do is, we can of course count all of the k cubes out. Hmm. But now what do we do? Well, where have you seen sine cubed of something? Well, of course, in the triple angle formula. So I'll rub this out. So the triple angle formula is sine of 3 theta. And this is equal to 3 times sine of theta minus 4 sine cubed of theta. And now we have a sine cubed of theta. So we can express this sine cubed of theta as one fourth times 
3 sine theta minus sine of 3 theta. So now, I'll write this over here to make it this sort of thing that we can follow. So now, we can sub this sine cube of 20, 40, 60 into this. So this will be the left hand side will be sine cube of 20, sub this in, will be 1 fourth times 3 sine of 20 minus sine of 3 times 20 is 60. Then plus 1 fourth times 3 sine 40 minus sine of 3 times 40 is 120. Then plus 1 fourth times 3 sine of 60 minus sine of 3 times 60 is 180. And now we can change some of the terms because sine of 60 is just square root of 3 over 2. Sine of 120 is just sine of pi minus 120, which is sine of 60, which is square root of 3 over 2. And we know that this sine of 60 is also square root of 3 over 2. Multiply by 3 is 3 square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can factor out a 1 fourth. And the inside will be, first do this and that, 3 sine of 20 plus 3 sine of 40. Then this minus that is negative 2 square root of 3 over 2. Then we add 3 square root of 3 over 2, which will be plus square root of 3 over 2. And we know sine of 180 is just 0. So this is all. So this is the left-hand side. So now, why don't we try and deal with the right-hand side? So the right-hand side was sine cube of 80. And we can use this. 1 fourth, 3 sine of 80. Minus sine of 3 times 80, which is 240. And we know that sine of 240 is negative sine of 60. So that is just negative square root of 3 over 2. And minus minus becomes plus. So this is just equal to 1 fourth, 3 sine 80, plus square root of 3 over 2. So now, we have to prove that the right-hand side equals the left-hand side. But let's first see which terms are similar or the same. 1 fourth and 1 fourth, the same. Square root of 3 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, the same. 3, 3, 3, the same. So we just have to prove that sine of 20 plus sine of 40 is equal to sine of 80. So I'm going to write that over here. Required to prove sine of 20 plus sine of 40 equals sine of 80. So we can see that the left hand side will just be, we can change this into sine of 30 minus 10 and we add sine of 30 plus 10. We do this because one of the terms will cancel out so if you do this on your own, you see that the cancelling will become into 2 sine of 30 cosine 10. Okay, and we know that sine of 30 is just 1 half, right? So this is equal to 2 times 1 half cosine of 10, which is just cosine of 10. And we know that 10 plus 80 equals to 90, right? That's a right angle, right? So, this and that are actually complementary. What does that mean? It means that they are equal. This is equal to sine of 80. And look, that
that is just the right hand side. So, I proved it. So, this is the final answer to this very fun geometry question. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.